A lot of people come to Las Vegas thinking sex work is legal here, but it's not. Only some Nevada counties allow brothels in their borders, but one man hopes to change that. 8 News Now investigator David Charns learning what's behind his mission and how this would be regulated. Have all your sexual experiences been in brothels? I've never had sex um, non-commercially. 32-year-old Russell Greer says he's always paid for sex. It's helped me feel accepted. It's, I'm able to talk to someone who will listen to me and, you know, able to kiss someone. Uh, yeah, it means everything. The Salt Lake City native was born with a condition leaving his face paralyzed. I I can't close the mouth. I can't smile. He now lives in Las Vegas and says he's had difficulty dating. In his words, society has not been kind. I don't see what's so wrong with paying for it. Greer says he's fulfilled his need for human connection at brothels across Nevada, the only state where sex work is legal in some areas. State law prohibits counties with more than 700,000 people from having brothels. That includes Clark County and Las Vegas. Individual counties can also so choose their own rules. Greer hopes voters in three areas will get the chance to weigh in on legalization in 2024. He wants to go bigger in 2026. I just feel like it should be legalized like where everyone else, where, you know, where Vegas is. There are about two dozen brothels across Nevada where sex workers have to pay taxes and get regular STD checks. But there are none here in Las Vegas. But if they were to come here, it could mean big business. In 2012, a UNLV study found that in just those rural counties, the brothel business brought in an estimated $50 million a year. Who's going to your ranch? Everybody, all walks of life. Tara Adkins is the madam at the Mustang Ranch in Story County, outside Reno. You're almost like a mother figure to these ladies. About 50, some with several clients a day, men, women, in couples. Last Saturday, we had about 150 in one day. Adkins says a good portion of that clientele is like Greer, people who aren't going to bars or using apps and who want to know their partner is safe. What's it like fulfilling that need for them? For me, it is probably the best part of this job is to make sure that that need of human touch is met. The regulations, Adkins says, are a big part of the job and an important one. When we hire some girls that have been doing independent work, some of them don't even know how to put a condom on. And so we train them how to use condoms. Do you think the work that you do at the brothels should be expanded statewide? I think more brothels would be a great thing. Dase works at the ranch. She says the procedures in place required by law could be expanded across Nevada. It means that I am safe, I am protected, and I can always stand my ground and demand respect. I would like to own a brothel here in Clark County. Greer hopes legalization goes statewide, reaching Las Vegas, both as a potential brothel owner and to combat non-legal sex work already happening here. Instead of arresting people for doing that, we may as well give them an option to do it. In 2018, voters in Lyon County chose to keep brothels in their community. In that attempt, a group had tried to rescind legalization. Any ballot initiative requires two statewide votes and then legislative approval. I'm David Charns, 8 News Now. Our 8 News Now investigators reached out to a group that's combated legalizing brothels in the past. We did not receive a response in time for this report.